Wendell Antonowski, the infamous new guy in town, has been apprehended today. Robocop was able to capture Antonowski, as reported by an eyewitness, Channel 9 Samantha Ortiz. Unfortunately, no footage of the event has emerged. Robocop's efforts have prompted a public debate regarding his status as a human being. Here's a statement from John Mills, a candidate for the mayor's office in the upcoming mayoral election. Today, Robocop has done more for this city than the current administration has done in its entire term. That's why I feel that it's time to give something back. If elected, I will be advocating to grant Robocop the status of a free, living human being. That's right. Vote Mills, vote Robocop. Staying on the topic of OCP, the CEO of Omni Consumer Products suffered a heart attack earlier today. The self-made entrepreneur has been taken to the Gibson Memorial Hospital for observation. His condition is stable. We wish you a speedy recovery. Wendell's in prison and the old man is on his way out? Could this day be any better? Geez, Steph, don't you have any respect? Here's the man of the hour. Congrats, Robo. You caught that bastard for what he did to Lewis. We are not done yet. Murphy, come talk to me after you're done with your evaluation. I knew he'd get him. I just knew he'd be the one to bust that asshole. Glad we have Murphy on our team. Is that the TV personality I keep seeing on television? Have a seat, Robo. Something not many people know about me. I used to be a car mechanic before I landed this job. Is that supposed to put us at ease, Morgan? Congratulations on catching Wendell. You seem to constantly be front page news. Not only that, your situation has become a topic of public debate. I imagine that could take a toll on anyone. How are you dealing with other people trying to determine your identity for you? Someone is fighting for my rights. That's probably the healthiest way of looking at it. But the status of a human would make you an autonomous being. It opens many doors. Being given human rights would let you fully take control of your life. Is that something that you'd actually want? I do not need other people's approval to determine who I am. No. But no man is an island. The idea of granting you human rights is a very important issue but no more important than the main reason for today's session. Many people might not be aware of that, but I have the whole report on the heavy glitches that you suffered before capturing Wendell. The only other time you've experienced anything similar was during the slaughterhouse incident. That's when your partner was wounded. Now, you were fighting the person responsible for it. Do you think the severity of those glitches is caused by the intense feelings that you have towards either of them? My partner is important. I needed to do right by her. I know how close she is to you. Let's dig a little deeper. Your typical glitches are triggered by sensory stimulation, similar to how most people experience memories when exposed to particular sights, sounds, or smells. But this wasn't the case with the other glitches that you experienced recently? No, they triggered randomly. That's what I suspected. And now tell me, what did they seem like to you when you experienced them? Nightmares. I think we're onto something. Your usual glitches were making you recall memories. 
No more harmful than remembering your wedding day when hearing Mendelssohn's march. We have to differentiate them from those severe malfunctions that you experienced in the slaughterhouse and at the mall. Those latter ones are the real problem, and we need to get to the bottom of it. But I think I've gathered quite a lot of valuable data, and at our next session, I'll present my conclusions. Hey, Robo, could you stop by the cells on your way to read? Someone there wants to speak to you. I don't know. If it happens, I'm definitely getting sacked. I've got a degree in robotics, not in human relations. Sometimes I'm surprised you go to high school. I'd recognize those footsteps anywhere. Over here, Tin Man! What did you do this time? Uh, why does it have to be that I did something? Maybe one of your guys just got a little overeager. Did they? No. But none of this matters. I'm here mainly to congratulate us. We did it. We got the guy. We? We sure did, partner. Any new leads? Are you looking for trouble? This is the they lived happily ever after part of the story. Wendell was conducting suspicious activity for someone at OCP. I want to know who. Shit. I thought you were just looking to avenge your partner. I forgot that you're a dutiful officer. All right. I'll keep my ear to the ground and see what the streets are saying. Good. Talk to you later, partner. Rookie? Actually, I do. Murphy, still not in my office. With one hand. You'll eventually forget. Get about being shot the first time. <laughs> yeah, when? When you get shot the second time. What? Catching Antonowski put a smile on a lot of people's faces, but we still have one unresolved issue. Catching his accomplice at OCP. Exactly. And when everyone realizes that OCP's been sabotaging us the whole time, mentions of a strike will come up again. We don't want that. So who do you think it is? Becker is an obvious choice. I just don't know if that's not too obvious. Do you suspect that Becker is on Wendell's payroll? All signs point to him. They do, don't they? And that leads me to another thing. Becker wanted to meet you. You're supposed to show up at some old factory. And he wanted you to come alone. A rather unusual request. That's why I'll get Officer Washington to listen in. By the way, how do you feel about it? Can you trust him? Despite shortcomings, he is trying his best. That makes me a little less anxious about signing him up to look after you. I'm skeptical of anyone that OCP tries to push on us. First Becker, then Washington. And let's not forget about Dr. Blanche. Speaking of which, Dr. Blanche, is she... Is she being helpful? Are you getting anything out of those sessions? She is an enormous help. She listens. Good. That's good to hear. Sometimes that's all it takes. I will meet Becker, but there is a place I will visit first. Sure thing. In the meantime, I'll brief your overseer.
Officer Washington. Yes, sir. You've got a new assignment. I'm ready and willing. Did you watch the game yesterday? I don't know what's wrong with our team. What losers? I wanted to throw the TV out the window, but it was too heavy. I pulled a hamstring because of that. Wait, why are you asking me about my liver and kidneys? They shot me in the leg. We can She's waiting for you, Murphy. Come on, give me the skinny. I want to know everything. Ah, oh, Murphy, we started the party a little early. I hope you don't mind. Sorry, partner. It's my fault. I just got to hear what's happening at the precinct. In usual fashion, OCP's doing everything in its power to keep the police down. Come on, this is time to celebrate. Lewis is feeling better, Wendell's in jail. Let's party. If you don't think a strike is brewing, you know what? Let me get this grouch out of here so that you two can talk. Okay, okay, I'm going. Feel better, Lewis. You look well. I gotta admit, I sleep better knowing that you got that bastard. But what about you? How have you been lately? Did you get any more of those visions? I still see things. You know, ever since Antonowski showed up, they seem to be happening more often, and with greater intensity. I don't think I've ever seen you in such a state. I just know how it affects me, so I can't imagine how it affects you. The fact that he's the brother of one of those guys who shot you. We should not let the past haunt us. Easier said than done. His presence reminds me of the day that I... that I left you. I often think that maybe if we didn't split up that day, things would have gone down differently. You did not pull the trigger. The people responsible have paid for it. I know. What I don't get is if Wendell is actually the brother of one of your murderers, then why did he come out now, after all this time? And why didn't he kill you when he got a chance? That is what I intend to find out. Right. Is it true that he's working with someone from OCP? That is what he claims. Damn, Becker. We should just lock him up already. We do not have proof. Not yet. I don't know if you heard, but the old man ended up in this hospital after his heart attack. I'm not even sure if he's in a state to talk, but it probably wouldn't hurt to check if he knows anything, right? Anyway, I think I need a little rest after all this excitement. Thank you for visiting me. We'll be back to working together in no time. I look forward to it. Good. I don't think I can last a minute longer in this stench. Hey, where do you think you're going? To talk to the old man. You're the only one who actually showed up to pay him a visit. 
You know, he talks about you a lot. Does he? Yeah, about you being granted human rights. He's rooting for you. So maybe it's not such a bad idea. You can go in. I serve this town with every drop of my sweat. I always try to improve people's lives. I always good to them. Just like you told me, Mother. We did not see Delta City rise. But don't you worry. I promise it would happen. Mother, why aren't you saying anything? Michael, is that you? Your halo shines so bright. Someone in OCP was supporting Wendell's operations. I want to know who. Robocop? Oh God, I'm getting close to my final days. And I just can't stand this uncertainty. But you came back from the other side. Tell me, how was it? Was it unbearable? It was like waking up from a long nap. A new man. I hoped that would be the case. I believe that death isn't the end. You are walking proof of that. Unfortunately, I have not completed all I set out to do. All saboteurs inside OCP won't let me. Are you referring to Max Becker? That weasel seeks not only to destroy you, but also my company. Be wary of him. I know you would never let anyone jeopardize the good name of OCP. <sighs> Before you go, could you be so kind and give me some painkillers? That's better. I can always count on you, can't I? Thank you, son. The helicopter is on its way, sir. Perfect. Oh, good news. Leave now. We need to get him ready for the transfer. Why the long face, Robo? They'll pump him full of OCP's cocktails and come Monday morning he'll be back to signing deals as if nothing happened. <laughs> like this I am the mayor of this city Robocop you have to intervene is there a problem this man is preventing me from exposing OCP's hypocrisy the way this hospital treats its patients is the best depiction of what OCP wants to do with this city a brave policewoman shot in the line of duty is crammed into a small room while the old man has a cozy VIP wing of the hospital all to himself. This is what Delta City stands for. Even bigger division. But the time you had your tonsils removed, you were staying in the VIP wing too. We're not talking about me. We need to talk about the people. Robocop, please stop this madness. Make a statement. That policewoman is your partner, isn't she? So tell us. Doesn't she deserve better? Lewis should be treated under better conditions. Hey, cameraman, you got that? Even an OCP robot sees the hypocrisy. Listen to him. Don't let OCP take away our city. Say no to Delta City. Vote for the neighborhoods. Vote for Kuzak. Okay, guys, we're leaving. We should find him a cozy, secluded, preferably padded room.
intentions become clear, maybe he wants to thank you for catching Wendell. I only seek answers. You came. So you can follow a command. Surprising. Surrender, or there will be trouble. Defiant as usual. Your creator screwed up the job by not installing an off switch. Well, it doesn't pay to fix their mistakes. It's cheaper just to replace you. So, Robocop. Meet the future of law enforcement. Power like yours, but at the push of a button. That is why it is not only more effective than you, but infinitely more obedient. That's just a fragment of the speech I had prepared. But hell, this product speaks for itself. Robocop, what's the status? This is no appreciation party. Gunshots? What's going on? Tracker has introduced me to these new robots. QEDs? They're already functional? Mr. Becker bragged about them during my onboarding. I'll try to find something that can help. Just give me a sec. Let's see if they ever got around to fixing it. Warm-up is over. Get ready for the real strike. I knew the guy that made you. Bob Morton, right? An arrogant brown nose. I used to be happy that he was dead. One less asshole on my way to the chairman's seat, you know? Now, I wish that he could see your end. Resisting arrest. Shut it down. 
He was certain that your brain was what was making you superior to them, so Becker continued to work on the project in secret. He took a big gamble. Hey, who are you talking to? Is that Oedipus guy helping you? Well, once I'm done with you, his career is over. You are durable, I'll give you that. You could become a strong part of my urban enforcement unit. Your redundant part is much impact. knows you are helping me. He gave me access to the OCP data himself. Under these circumstances, I feel obliged to use them any way I see fit. Until now, I didn't want to damage you too much, but no more.
Gregory. And the police.
suppressing hostile activity. just happened. Becker. Oh, just stop right there. Great performance, RoboCop. And Mr. Becker, it was an excellent presentation. You promised to show me a reliable remedy for this crime wave. And you really did. Yes. I've been working on UEDs for the past five I years. I meant RoboCop. He's proved once again that he's still the top player. Excuse me? It just barged in here and started accusing me of conspiracy without a shred of proof. It is not stable. I have Wendell's confession. Oh, do you mean the guy that's been harvesting human organs? <laughs> Very reliable source. You keep forgetting that your organic components are the bane of my entire existence. They complicate things. I need a simple tool. A tool that I can control. And until this remote is in my hands, I have that... Oh! Well, it's uh, time for me to go. Thank you, Mr. Becker, for your presentation. I'll be watching the progress of your project. But until then, keep up the excellent work, RoboCop. And you better keep an eye on that remote. That should do it. What's going on over there? Becker's here, and the cops are not happy. Becker tested an army of robots on Robocop. Can you believe that? Hey, Becker's here! Let me get my hands on him! It's a new age, and you have to accept it. My robots are here to stay. Detroit will become the first city policed entirely by my machines. No brains, no glitching, total control. So that's it? You just gonna replace us? You've already been replaced, honey. Can't you see it? What are you talking about? Murphy's one of us. You're a little confused. That's RoboCop you're talking about. Murphy's the guy who's legally dead. That's it. We are going on strike. We are cops! Cops do not go on strike! That's the spirit, old-timer. I have important people to meet, multi-million dollar contracts to sign. You know, the usual. Well, that sucks. 
We can't just sit here and do nothing. You can do something. Your cruiser needs cleaning after your last shift. If you have a hard time finding something to do, come to me. That goes for the rest of you too. Murphy, briefing room, now. First of all, I don't want to hear a word about those damn robots. We have a job to do. Now that the milk is spilled, we are looking for a mole in OCP that's been protecting Antonowski. As hard as it is to believe, Becker is not that guy. Yeah, but he's still a prick. Sure is, but there's still a mole that we need to find. It's gotta be the rookie. I'm sitting right here. So? We start by asking the source. What are you suggesting? I pay Wendell a visit in jail. Good thinking. You can try to squeeze a confession out of him. If I get my hands on him, I will squeeze more than just a confession. Hey, Murphy. That news lady's in the lobby waiting to talk to you. Robo, do you have a minute? Listen, I wanted to say that I misjudged you. My crusade is against OCP. You were just collateral. So to extend an olive branch, I'd, I'd like to give you this. What is it? It's the tape of you glitching the other day at the mall. It's the only copy, so you can do whatever you want with it. I am sure your TV station would love to play the tape. Yeah, that's why you need to take it before I change my mind. Thank you. Now that I have you here, can I interview you as a consolation prize? They want me to ask you about the election. Seems that people value your opinion. I would be happy to oblige. Okay, roll the tape. I'm here at Metro West conducting an interview with a man that needs no introduction. Robocop, one of the more contentious points brought up during the election, is the construction of Delta City. Many believe that Delta City will destroy old Detroit. Mayor Kuzak spoke at length about the illegal evictions that OCP has been planning in order to start the construction. Other candidates, namely John Mills, believe that Delta City is a chance to clean up the city. What are your thoughts on this subject? Is Delta City the future of old Detroit? I would focus on current Detroit. Thank you for clarifying your stance on this important topic. This has been Robocop for Channel 9. Samantha Ortez, signing off. Thanks for the interview, Robo. We'll get out of your hair as soon as we're done packing up the equipment.
I know Kuzak isn't great, but he's not another I saw Becker tear the rookie a new one for what he did at that factory. Oh, she is doing real good. She had that fire in her eyes. You know what I'm talking about. I'm really glad to hear that. And I can tell someone this is her. Still keep that metal fuck running. What a waste of electricity. I mean, he did catch you. Robo, the prisoner's waiting in the visiting room. Oh, gonna have to strip search you. Belt, keys, loose change, huh? <laughs> I'm kidding. Just keep walking. I don't think that was funny. Good to meet you, Robocop. The visiting room is at the end of the corridor. Good to see you in my prison, Robo. Did the inmates at the entrance welcome you properly? I felt at home, almost. I'm glad you're here. I want to ask you about the man you're here to see. The only thing I know is that he's no ordinary prisoner. OCP are keeping his record secret. So who is he? Another problem off my list. But not off mine. He's a demanding individual. There used to be peace in my prison, but now they're rabid dogs. He turned all the gangs against each other. So either OCP doesn't know who they're dealing with, or there's something fishy going on. I suspect OCP knows more than they are telling. I'm here to verify that. Ah, uh, good. Come see me after your interview. I have a humble gift for you and your police friends for keeping my business alive. All that matters to me is that your hands are finally cuffed. Oh, that sense of justice is as strong as ever. That's you all over. Alex Murphy. You didn't expect to hear that name from me, did you? I used to think that erasing the memories of your past life would help you the way it helped me. Oh, but I was wrong. And I want to make it up to you by giving you that life back. I am here to enforce the law, not to play your games. But you wouldn't mind a, a game of baseball with your son again. The new OCP project is what will make this possible for you. Is that why you needed all those dead bodies? I could tell you more. If you promise not to stick your nose in. I want details of the project and the names of those involved. Seems our time is up. But I wouldn't want to leave you empty-handed. 
So let me at least give you this. The project's called Afterlife. Tread carefully. It's the last chance for you and your family to be together again. We have to take the prisoner back to his cell. Looks like a full-blown riot is going down. Whatever is going on, this slime is involved. Could be, but now we have to focus on the other prisoners. They're armed and storming the warden's office. We need your help. Robo? I will turn them to the path of reform. got into the armory and are now handing out heavy weapons like fucking hot dogs at a football game.
I'm unarmed! Robocop, I owe you. We have to stop these creeps from taking over the prison. You bet we do. Wendell has to be behind this. I need to find him. I knew he was up to something. His cell is in Block B. And Robocop, give him my regards. I will give him much more than that. Call me on the radio if you need me. Sir, block A is clean. Good. Let's keep it that way.
Whoa, that's uh, not what I expected on my first day. We need to seal off this area. If you go further, you won't be able to turn back. So, do you want to proceed? I am ready to proceed. Okay then, good luck. Glad you're here, Robocop. I think I saw someone, someone from the outside. Those couldn't have been prisoners. They were armed to the teeth. and kids please I promised you that one day I'd blow your head off <sighs> Robocop, new arrivals. I saw them. They must be the ones who released the prisoner. The riots are a smokescreen for Wendell. They're heading for his cell. I am on my way there now. <laughs> I'm not an enemy! Wendell's cell is empty. Intruders beat me to it. 
Robo, I'm just getting a signal that the hostiles were spotted moving towards the property store. Wendell included. I will meet them there. Don't disturb me. I have laundry to do. You are not safe here. No, I can't lose this job. It's the only thing that's keeping me sane. Besides, I've got orders. Regulations state that riots relieve inmates from their duties. Find safety. Riots? What riots? Okay, okay, fine. Just... Don't mess with the settings on that thing, or the die will bleed. because I snitched on soot for you. Help, you owe me. Don't pretend you can't hear me. Oh, no. 
stops me! Quick, before someone throws the switch! Good, good. Not such a can-headed piece of shit after all. That's what the other inmates call you, but I, I don't. <laughs> Not anymore, at least. <laughs> Thank you. situation here. The guy's got a ticket for the mercy seat in a month, but he was shot, and it looks like justice will get him sooner. <laughs> That's no reason to leave me here to die! I can't take him with me, and I'm not gonna stay here. Justice can only be served by executing court orders. You're more human than this fucking jailer!
got visual.
Last week I finished organizing the stuff down here with a brand new system. And today, those fuckers showed up and messed everything up. Where did they go? To the parking lot. You have to bust them. I'll be cleaning this shit up until retirement. The scum's over there, hiding behind his bodyguards. You need to smoke him out.
Can't you get it through that thick skull of yours? You're supposed to stay away from my business if you want to get your past life back. How about we save part of that life right now? I sent some guns to the hospital to rectify my mistake and finish the job with your friend Lewis. But it was before we talked. I would have called off the hit, but I had to take care of you and your fellow guards. So, I guess it's over to you. And you better hurry! Casualties at Gibson Memorial Hospital. I need assistance. Possible hostiles in the vicinity. I'm all right, Murphy. I'm all right. Oh, thank God you're safe. We've missed you, officer. How are you feeling? A little banged up. But I've certainly been worse. That Wendell guy needs to pay for what he did. And he will. But when? How many more innocent people have to get shot before that happens? OCP doesn't have our back. We know that Wendell's working for him. You know what we should do? Don't even say it! We should go on strike. Yeah! Sergeant, how can we go out on the streets knowing that the people who hire us are working against us? Don't forget about the robots. We will discuss this further, but first, Murphy, it's time for your evaluation. I'll be catching up on what's been going on, partner. Oh my god, Lewis is back. Hey, Steph. How's my hair? Looks like an elephant took a dump on an ostrich egg. So, you also noticed the symmetry of my face? Whatever, shithead. Robocop, please, have a seat. That's it from me. Where is Dr. Blanche? I am supposed to undergo an evaluation. Oh, right. She called, said that she wouldn't be able to make it today. Actually, she wanted you to call her. She seemed distressed.
Antonowski escapes from a high security prison. Now the cops are thinking about going on strike. What happened? Dr. Blanche. Thank you for returning my call. I, I don't know what to do, who to trust. What seems to be the problem? My research that I was conducting on you, it's gone. All the data that I collected is missing from the precinct. If someone felt comfortable stealing my computer, they may come after me once they realize that most of my records are on paper. OCP has been adamant about me keeping all the records on my computer, but I don't trust technology, and I don't trust OCP. I keep most of my records with me in my notebook. I don't know who to turn to, except you. Where are you now? Home. You are not safe there. Meet me at the Star Motel. Yes, I know the place. I'll meet you there. Sir, can you please calm down? I'm a respectable citizen. I won't be treated like this. Murphy, you busy? This guy's really a handful. Do you mind taking over? Hey, don't talk about me like I'm some kind of problem. The real problem is that one of you ignored my call for help. Sir, none of our dispatchers would do such a thing as receive a call and not act upon it. So maybe the next thing you're gonna tell me is that I wrecked my own fish shop. Plenty of people attempt insurance fraud. How dare you? My family has been serving that neighborhood for generations. You should know that I have many offers to buy out the shop. But I would never sell out to OCP, unlike you lot. I need to speak eye to eye with the man who ignored my call this afternoon. Just a moment, sir. Murphy, I think it's your new buddy who's been on dispatch duty today. Could you check this matter with him? Something's going down in the locker room. Let's check it out. It was you sitting on your ass in dispatch when my cousin called the police. He got shot because no officer showed up. It appears there's a technical problem. I reported it to OCP. You see? He said it himself. That little snitch reports everything to OCP to undermine our efforts. That's not right. I answer all... Yes, it's not right, and you'll answer for that. Put him up. <laughs> I ain't gonna fight you. We're police officers. No, you got that all wrong. You never were and never will be part of this team, because you're not a real cop. You may fool some of us, but I can smell a rat a mile away. Attacking a fellow officer is a violation of the law. I will not allow it. Of course you won't. You're both OCP's puppets covering for each other. This is bullshit! Come on, Steph. Let's just go. Whatever, man. Your stress level appears to be high. I recommend using a health pack. I'm guessing you're not here just to check my vitals. Can I help? There has been a complaint about police ignoring calls. You mean other than this one? I had a feeling something was wrong with the switchboard. Can you meet me in the dispatch room? I want to show you what I mean. I think the problem started when OCP brought new equipment in. 
I mentioned to the technicians that I thought something was wrong with this switchboard, but they said not to fuss, as this stuff is top of the line. Maybe you could have a look at it? Found something? This cable looks out of place. I will see where it leads. Police, what's the emergency? Hello? I just called, and I believe someone hung up on. Okay. Just remain calm. Officers are on their way and we'll be with you shortly. I haven't even finished my last sentence and you... Thank you for contacting the police. Stay safe. So, any luck finding what's wrong with it? The switchboard has been tampered with. Calls are being patched through to a concealed answering machine. That's seriously messed up. But it's definitely not all the calls. I've been receiving a pretty decent share of them. But have a look at this. I marked the map with all the calls I've answered this week. One entire district seems to be completely empty. Yeah, and it's that rundown neighborhood. We need to find out what's going on over there. An opportunity presented itself. There is a victim from there awaiting an apology. Okay, let me take care of that. I'll tell you what I find once I'm done. I can't undo the injustice you suffered, but I want to make it right. I'd like to start by visiting your store. Maybe I could take your statement there so I don't keep you here any longer. Finally, someone who's hearing me out. I want to see you by the end of the day. Otherwise, this matter goes straight to Mayor Kuja. Once I finish my dispatch duty, I'll come right over. Good. Good. I can take my leave now. It's the perfect opportunity to check out the area and learn what the locals know, don't you think? I agree. If you're not busy with your other duties, maybe you could join me there? Murphy, you're here. Let's start with what you found out at that prison. I will show you somewhere private. I think I've got the place. Afterlife. So someone in OCP is working with Wendell on another big project? If not Becker, then who? Sorry to disappoint you all, you ungrateful fucks. You didn't think I'd find you here, did you? Since I'm already here, entertain me. If I'm no longer your suspect, then who is? I mean, we're all thinking it, so I might as well say it. What if it's the old man? Ha! <laughs> You've got some balls to even mention something like that. Nevertheless, good luck. Even if it's true, he's untouchable. Unlike you, I've got some work to do. 
final preparations before the expo. So wish me luck. Good luck. <sighs> Becker's right. We can't just go on accusing people without proof. What else is there? Seems that Wendell found himself another gang to work for him. What do we know about them? Guns for hire. He's paying a lot for their services. They're supposed to be very computer savvy. Real high tech shit. Dr. Blanche mentioned her computer was hacked. Then I think we found ourselves a new lead. Murphy, I want you to pursue this. I will pay Dr. Blanche a visit. All right, everyone dismissed. Can't wait to go back out there, partner. You're not going anywhere. But, Sarge! I need you here. That's the end of the discussion. Murphy, Mayor Kusak wants to talk to you. He's waiting in Reed's office. In state. After it was examined, the likelihood of death after drinking it dropped to a safe six percent. The water was shut off in the first place due to a dangerous. You called. I did, Frankenstein. I hate to sound like a broken record, but the election is days away. The future of this city is at risk. That's why I wanted to be blunt with you. I want your support. Just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. Is it money? Do you want me to pay you? I will remind you, Mr. Mayor, that bribing voters is illegal. But if that's what it takes, you know as well as I that we can't have OCP rule this city. I may have overheard that there are some serious accusations pointed at the old man himself. What more do you need to know to support me? I will think about it. Sure, take your time, but not too much time. The election is in two days. We're killing ourselves to put those bastards behind bars, and the next thing you know, they're back on the streets. Why even bother? Don't give me so much. Are you on your way to see Dr. Blanche? Yes. Let us hope I will not be slowed down by another cheering crowd. So, the preparations for the election are in full swing, huh? Fortunately, I am just by the hotel. Good. Keep me posted. Murphy, good to see you. Multiple armed suspects have taken over the store. We gotta be careful. They got the owner inside. I am going in. You need backup. Remember your field training, Officer Washington. I won't let you down. You guys go ahead. I'll secure the perimeter. Oh, it's the maze poster. Maybe he actually knows him. Let's get him! They stand no chance against you! That'll teach him a lesson. You wrecked my shot. Oh, God. What will my 
my father's day. And the fish, all the fish are gonna go dead. Oh, quit your whining, Pop. I'm not like you know, to Open the door and come out with your hands up. Oh shit, that's Robocop. Listen, you and your friends got it all wrong. You're not supposed to be here, pal. OCP doesn't butt into this hood's business. And you're police on OCP's money. So you better scram if you don't want trouble. I am a police officer. I do not take orders from lowlifes. What the... What do you want, robot? I'm trying to be nice here. I I've got a hostage here, and I'll blow his fucking brains out if you try anything stupid. Break the door! He's reloading! Who's that? There ain't an ounce of respect in those perps. There's nothing sacred to old CP. But I was wrong about you. You definitely more human than any of them OCP hyenas. <sighs> that was intense. Good job, Officer Washington. Thank you, Robo. Hey, Washington. That sounded like a proper gunfight. So how come you're still in one piece? I had a partner who had my back. Keep it up and I might just change my mind about you. All right. Wrap this up, Robo. You can head back to the... Precinct. Moviendo las misiones secundarias, creo, ¿no? Ahora, como he desbloqueado. Una habilidad ya me muestran las misiones secundarias escondidas. 34, young guy. At least the whole election circus is behind him already. Yo, know, that's what I like about you, Richard. You always see the bright side. I know what we can do to make tonight more exciting. Grandma, you know what the doctor said about alcohol. I don't get why Robocop supports Kuzak. I hear he's gonna turn Robo off. You disappointed me, Robo. The police should not get involved in politics.
drinking in a public place is against the law. I'm not drinking. I'm drunk already. And I am home. I will not issue a ticket. However, I recommend enrolling in the homeless help program. I'm not homeless, so get out of my house. Aquí por los alijos y ya voy por la misión. Ya creo que estas son las últimas horas del juego. He subido mucho lo que es el blindaje ni la vida, así que imagínate cómo me lo, estoy cómo me lo voy a acabar.
aquí al otro, al hijo. ¡Ah! I didn't know you were involved in politics. I don't give a shit about elections. You're back already, Grumpy? With all those colorful flags and balloons? You're way too early. The bachelorette party starts at eight. I am here to meet with Olivia Blanche. What room is she in? This is a by-the-hour hotel. People don't usually give names. Dr. Blanche is in her 50s, bright long hair, possibly tied into a ponytail. I gotcha. It's that classy lady. She's staying in room 405. Thank you, citizen. So, you aren't the real RoboCop? Listen, if your mature lady won't be able to satisfy you, I'm sure I'll find someone younger that would be happy to help. It's you. Thank you for coming over. Do you really think I'm in danger? Not as long as I am here. Tell me what happened again. Someone stole my work computer from the precinct. But the only thing of value are my research notes. Your evaluation especially. Does anyone else know about your research? OCP requested confidentiality, so they're the only ones who know about it. You don't think the old man has anything to do with it, do you? Did you notice anyone suspicious at the crime scene? No, but after a recent hacking attempt, Engineer Morgan fitted my work computer with a tracking device. You could download its last coordinates from my private computer. It's right there on the desk. Maybe this will help you find the culprit. I will find them, and they will pay. Actually, even if those thieves were after my research, they'd be disappointed. I keep most of my notes on paper, including my conclusion. I know the whole process wasn't easy for either of us, but I'm sure you felt there was progress. How do you feel about doing the final session now? I promised to adhere to our working relationship. Thank you. I really appreciate it. You agreed to a non-compulsory evaluation. Does that mean you felt our sessions are helpful? Yes. 
A lot has changed since we started. Do you remember how you perceived yourself back then? I was struggling to comprehend my own existence. That's not quite right. But since then, did you have a change of heart? How do you consider yourself now? I like to think of myself as a person. I'm glad to know you can finally see this. Through our time together, I've learned a lot about you. And one thing I know for sure is that you're not some kind of soulless OCP robot. Why do you think so? Could a machine create a real bond of friendship such as you and Officer Lewis have? Do you think a machine would bother to help a drug addict believe that there is a place for him in our society? Do you think a machine could teach a newly appointed officer what it means to be a real policeman? Or bring comfort to a suffering old man? What an actual person, Glitch. We should make a clear distinction. These so-called glitches are your memories. It seems to me that they manifest themselves in unusual ways because they are trying to get through a mechanical barrier. But as memories and the past make up everyone's personality, those memories make you who you are as well. This is what makes you different from a machine. You should not fear them, but embrace them. But there is also the other kind. And that worries me. But the malfunctions you're referring to seem to be strictly technological. I'm afraid someone is using your mechanical side to mess with your psyche. They would be more successful if it wasn't for your human side. And no wonder. It's probably your strong will that allowed you to bear the extraordinary burdens. And it's also what's been protecting you from totally malfunctioning. I don't know a single person who could endure that. So if this evaluation was to determine whether you're human or not, my answer is you're not just a human, but an exceptional one. Alex Murphy. Don't you ever forget that, unless you want to have me on your case again. I will try. Thank you, Doctor. Use my computer to download the coordinates of the tracking device. It's right there on the desk. I have the coordinates. Hello, Dr. Blanche. I got a special delivery for you. But I haven't ordered anything. I only need your signature. Can you please open the door? Oh! Can I sign for this? Guarding the target. We need to move. Lewis, there was an attempt on Dr. Blanche's life. Is she okay? Yes, but she will need an escort. Roger that. I'm on my way. Got visuals on the tango! Oh. <laughs> should not stop. It's a dead end. We need to look for another way. I will make a way. I don't know how you're thinking of making a way, but you better hurry. This room will...
heat is just too much. We must keep going. I will make a way. We've made it. Oh, thank God. I'm finally starting to understand. The shooting, the blood, seeing it firsthand, it puts everything into perspective. What I think I'm trying to say is, thank you. My duty, madam. So what now, Murphy? I will follow the signal to track the doctor's computer. You will keep her safe. Safe from what exactly? Who were those guys? Mercenaries on Wendell's payroll. The same ones that paid me a visit at the hospital? Wendell should be grateful. You keep reducing his overhead. I am expecting a huge payoff. I hear that. Okay, Murphy. So where are you headed now? I am following the signal from the doctor's computer. That's handy. You're gonna keep me posted if you find anything, won't you? 
Affirmative. Murphy, out. I hate when you do that. Loose out. Your arguments against voting are baseless. As residents of this city, you have an obligation. Get lost, kiddo. I don't want them to unsuspend my sentence. Need some rubble? No, but it might be covering something that I am looking for. It will be like searching for a needle in a haystack unless you have some kind of x-ray vision. Any joy? I need to see what is underneath. Then you'll have to wait. There'll be a truck to move it in an hour or two. It's not like you can move the whole thing anyway. You're not a finicking train, are you? <laughs> I am much more than that. Shit! You're like a freaking bulldozer. Is that what you were looking for? A manhole cover? I need to get underground. Well, not through there, you ain't. If the sewers are what you're after, then you should use the entrance behind the mark. Thank you, citizen. de las placas es importante, poco tedioso pero es importante güey
Me falta uno, pero no tengo esta ficha así. Vamos a meter este de acá, supongo. Ahí está. Citizen on their way to the sewers. Is there a party going on down there? Some of them may come back. Lewis, tracker coordinates lead me to the sewers. I am entering now. I can't hear you very well. It must be bad signal. I've taken Dr. Blanche to the safe house. Lewis, you are breaking up. Watch your step. This might get dangerous. Make sure to contact me if you back up. Stay safe. Contact!
Es a los jefes también le hacen los huevos. Fue mucho que se bugue el arma.
Lewis, I found the computer. What did they need it for? Retrieving and processing data for my evaluations. Where was the data going? OCP's mainframe computer. To access it, you need staff credentials, and they have been using Wendell's. You're saying that OCP has Wendell on their payroll? The old man is the one who signed his contract. That son of a bitch. I knew he was behind all this. Can you send us over that data? I am uploading it as we speak. I'll make sure Reed sees it ASAP, so we can get you a warrant for the OCP headquarters. I am heading to OCP headquarters now. Hey, Robo, could you help us? We're in quite a pickle. We have here a dead campaign manager from Mills's office. This case is urgent, but we can't get inside the vehicle to examine the corpse. For some reason, the car is electrified. Now that everyone's on strike, there's no one to take care of it, and I don't want to end up like a well-done steak. I am glad to be of help. And if you can look around for clues afterwards, you know, uh, you never can tell with the electricity. Bulbs are burnt out. Something must have caused a short circuit. I assume a failure of the Magnavolt system. I will look into it. And if it wasn't for that, we'd have probably found the car on bricks and him and just his boxers. I wouldn't be so optimistic. Magnavolt is deactivated. It is now safe to investigate the car. Ah, uh, great. But uh, if you could take a look inside, uh, just in case. Gladly. The victim was strangled. The rope was tied with a sailor's knot. Not everyone can tie something like that. The deceased is holding the phone. The last number dialed is described as the office. Was he calling his own office during the murder? Certainly worth checking. There is an earring on the front seat. Could be helpful if we find out. The phone, the earring, and a sailor's knot. That's something to go on. And the place itself is interesting. Less than a hundred yards from the victim's office. I wonder why he stopped here. I will go to the office to see if the victim left a message. It's near the cinema on the third floor. We need to finish here before we can join you. Were there any witnesses? There's that homeless guy across the street. He warned us about the current. He probably tried to steal something from the car. But it's hard to get anything out of him. His hand is fried, but he says he doesn't want an ambulance. Says he can't afford it. Why would OCP get involved in this case? Not following politics, huh? The guy was Mill's campaign manager. 
OCP will do anything to get Mills elected. Yeah, if everyone hadn't been on strike, they would have brought the whole station down here. Why did you not join the strike? I owe Reed a favor. And you're too close to retirement to risk it. But there's nothing keeping you here, Officer O'Neill, apart from making my life less bearable. Well, somebody's gotta watch your clumsy ass. I will let you know if I find anything in that office. We'll meet you there, and maybe we'll grab a burger on the way. Not on my watch. Hey, I thought we were partners. you, officer. I want to speak with someone from Simon Page's office. Oh, then you're in the right place. Agatha Crane, Simon's assistant. But I'm afraid we have to wait for Mr. Page if we want to go in. Why? A key card issue. I have to recode them every week because Mr. Page has a thing about security. But sometimes newly encoded cards don't work. I call them unpredictable little things. They can ruin even the best schedule. Mr. Page was murdered last night. Oh, uh, what? Oh, oh God. That makes my schedule irrelevant. Were you or anyone else in the office yesterday after Mr. Page left? No, Mr. Page always stays late and just the two of us work here. Allow me to check the phones. Mr. Page called the office during his murder. Of course. But first we need to get inside. Maybe you could help with the door. go through my phone. It's on the desk on the right. You have no new messages. The phone on Mr. Page's desk is connected to his answering machine. It's the only one in this office. Maybe he did not get a chance to record his message. Did Mr. Page like to sail? It was one of his hobbies. I don't know who he sailed with, though. He kept me out of his private life. Organ selling and other ideas for making money? The books were bought for show. Visitors don't look too closely, and making an impression is all that matters. Mr. Page's words. Mr. Page's computer. I don't have access to it. Mr. Page's private schedule. Some of his meetings were so secret that he arranged them for himself. I didn't even know about them. Receipts for gifts that Mr. Page gave during business meetings. Did you find any leads? 
You know, perhaps you should check out Mayor Kuzak's team. As the death of Mr. Page plays into their hands. According to his schedule, Mr. Page often met with a person marked as G. In fact, they met yesterday. Oh, God. Could he be the murderer? Do you know who that might be? As I said, Mr. Page had a thing about secrecy. I wasn't allowed to view his private schedule, so I don't know all the people listed there. What about his receipts? There was one for earrings. Who were they for? For Gloria. Oh, God. G. Gloria who? Gloria Lindbergh from Kuzak's campaign office. Mr. Page wanted her to change sides. Do you know where she lives? It's just a short walk from here. An apartment opposite the basketball court. I don't know the exact address. Where'd you find out? We have a suspect. I am on my way to question her. In the office, there is an assistant of the deceased. I'll keep an eye on this place till you get back. Kurtz will be here in a minute. He just went to get us a couple burgers. Are you Gloria Lindbergh from Mayor Kuzak's office? So OCP is using less and less subtle methods to intimidate us. What do you want? I am here to ask questions about Simon Page. He's my political opponent. I have nothing more to say about him. Mr. Page was murdered last night. Oh, too bad for him. I, I kind of liked him. So why are you here? We have reason to believe that you are involved. On what basis? We found evidence that you may have been at the crime scene. <laughs> what a surprise. Evidence found by OCP, perhaps? Did you or did you not meet yesterday? I was supposed to, for business. But Simon called my office and canceled the meeting. The investigation demands that I search your apartment. If OCP wants to frame me, you probably won't back off anyway, so come on in. I was wondering if there was a man hiding under that shiny... I have a second glass if you want to loosen up. I have a prescription for them. I can't fall asleep when I'm alone in bed. Is this a gift for Mr. Page? He gave them to me when we met. He was probably trying to buy his way into my favor. I lost the second one. Ay, cabrón, la vieja cacheraza. I have various hobbies. Sailing is one of the more innocent ones. I lead a busy social life. It's not a crime, is it, officer?
Do you like it, officer? Such strong hands can probably tie strong knots. So, am I under arrest? Maybe you want to cuff me? Be careful what you wish for. According to Mr. Page's schedule, you met often, too often for business meetings. <laughs> that doesn't make me a murderer. Simon contacted me a month ago. He wanted me to join Mills's campaign office. We slept together a couple of times, and there was something electrifying about it. Secrecy, his connections with OCP, the consequences if we were found out. And we were. His assistant figured it out. She must have reported us, and OCP killed him. They were afraid he might give me Mills's campaign details. You claim that Agatha Crane knew about your affair. Not only knew, but she blackmailed Simon. She's ambitious. She wanted to get a promotion out of it, but Simon fired her. When was Agatha fired? Maybe a week ago? <laughs> you should talk to her, not me. I intend to do that. Please stay at our disposal. Missing you already. Officer Neal, come in. Is the victim's assistant still with you? O'Neal here. We have a problem locating her, but I can assure you she didn't leave the office. You'll see what I'm doing. Where is Agatha? A very good question. When you left, I came inside to take her statement, but there was no one here. Kirk showed up soon after. We've been looking for the lady ever since, but she's vanished into thin air. She couldn't have left the office without us seeing her, though. We must find her. New evidence suggests that she is the murderer. Once again, let's just check every corner. She couldn't just disappear. How do we know that the missing lady is the one who did this? She had a motive. She threatened to reveal Como la de siempre de promotion. Hey, padragoncito. Gracias. <laughs> ah, pues la subo al dragón. Claro, así tiene que ser siempre. Suscríbete sin miedo. A secret button hidden in the desk. This is getting more interesting. As long as it's not red, I think we can push it. The case of the mysterious disappearance solved. Now all we have to do is open that door. It looks like she used a computer. Maybe we can find something there. A message here says there is a panic room in this office. There is also an access code. Panic room? Magna Bolt? This page guy didn't like to let anyone in. At least the hide-and-seek game is over. Open sesame! Oh, sure. Keep reminding me of the delicious Just sesame sprinkled already. burger buns That's we haven't problem. eaten yet. Simon! I can't forget! You're ruining my career! <laughs> Agatha Crane, you are under arrest for the murder of Simon Page. It was just removing an obstacle. You have the right to remain silent. I had the right to do it. He didn't even realize that by blackmailing him, I proved that I'll do anything for the job. What else would you want from a political strategist? You have the right to an attorney. This is my attorney. I wasn't born to end up in jail. 
I was born for great things, and only I decide my fate. There are no bullets in that gun. The clip is out. Unpredictable little things. Again, it's frustrating when they ruin even the best schedule. Everything will go according to plan for the next several decades. Okay, lady, show's over. You're coming with us. I hope they throw away the key. Because of your cold-blooded murder, I'll have to reheat my burgers. Qué mató a Simon Page, pues bueno, hasta acá lo dejamos, porque ya es lo siguiente, tenemos que ir a las oficinas de OCP y ya supongo que va a ser la final final, ¿no? Así que, buen juego, ¿eh? Muchas misiones, y por eso me pasaron algunas a las primeras horas, porque no sabía cómo hacerlas, pero... Vamos a ver qué pasa, pero bueno, esto fue Robocop, disparar los huevos, parte número 4.